Welcome to the Hearing Health Center Video Library, the most complete and helpful online collection of news, instructions, the latest developments, and important information about hearing health. If you want to keep up to date, scan the QR code or click the subscribe button and we'll notify you of every new release. Hello, I'm Megan Foy, an audiology assistant at the Hearing Health Center in Naperville. If you've ever had a hearing test, even if your last one was in grade school, you probably remember the beep test. Every time you heard the beep, you raised your hand. The results of the beep test are plotted on an audiogram. It's a graph of the softest level you hear at different pitches or frequencies. We measure low pitches, mid pitches like middle C on a piano, and high pitches. This is our audiogram. We have lots of pictures showing different kinds of sounds at different pitches, how loud they are, and the pitch and loudness of all the letters in the alphabet. Before the hearing test, we tell our patients if the marks we put on this paper are above this green line, you get a gold star and get to go home. Your hearing is normal. As you can see, above the green line are soft sounds, leaves rustling, breathing, and whispers. This is what an audiogram with someone who has normal hearing looks like. Red circles are the right ear and blue X's are the left ear. The further you get down from the green line, the poorer your hearing ability. At the bottom, from left to right, are the different pitches. Low frequencies like 250 and 500 are generally easier to hear. Men's voices are usually low in pitch and are usually easier to hear than women's voices. Vowel sounds like O are low pitched, like the word blow. It's easy to hear. We see a lot of different configurations and marks on the audiogram. Let me show you two. This one shows the hearing ability is just about the same at all the different pitches. This person can easily hear everything below the marks, the dog barking, the piano, anything loud and noisy, but they don't hear the sounds above the marks. In layman's terms, this is a 40% hearing loss. They're missing out on a lot of speech, especially the consonants. But even with this amount of poor hearing ability, face-to-face -face conversations are still possible as long as it's quiet. That's because nonverbal cues, gestures, and body language all help with understanding. We all lip read, even though we've never had a lesson. Even if you didn't hear the difference between did you call and did you fall, if you're looking at the speaker, you can see their mouth say fall. But even at a short distance away or when several people are talking in any kind of background noise, everything is muffled. They can't understand the words or the conversation, and the TV is always loud. The most common type of marks we see on an audiogram look something like this. As you can see, the ability to hear the softest sound possible is different at every single pitch. In the low pitches, this person hears pretty well, almost normal. But as the pitches get higher, their hearing ability gets poorer and poorer. This is the kind of hearing pattern people say, he only hears what he wants to hear. We find that most people with this type of hearing pattern feel like they hear fine. They tend to blame everyone else for their inability to hear and understand. I hear fine. He mumbles. She talks to me from another room. If she looks at me, I don't have a problem. What we found is that once they start hearing the soft sounds of speech, it's like a door to a new world opens up. They realize people aren't really mumbling and they actually can hear their spouse from another room. Now, when you get your hearing test, you'll know what all those marks on the paper mean. But there's a difference between hearing, listening, and understanding. The audiogram only tells us if your hearing ability is normal or abnormal and how bad. Watch our video on brain processing to learn more. Thank you for watching our video. And remember, if you want to keep up to date, scan the QR code, or click subscribe.